Kwanza mataki. At least 1,900 residents of a Molatar district in northern Uganda have secured their lands by obtaining certificates of customary ownership. The Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development was represented by the RDC. Uh, this is the best way to secure customary ownership rights and the parish Roman model investment of customary land owners countrywide. Nabakov applauded the people of Amolatar for accepting to register their lands. She says holders of these certificates will be shielded from land grabbers and rallied the public to embrace this initiative. I want to thank GIZ and GFA by and large the communities who accepted to have their land back. I urge more families and clans to embrace this government intervention because it is the only way land conflicts will be brought to an end. These titles are among the first certificates of customary ownership that were generated and printed digitally. The demarcation has been done using uh, the traditional boundary markers and it has been reinforced by the survey coordinates. The certificate confers rights, its legal documentation, you hold the land in perpetuity and it is the docu government document that government will use to defend the owners. Mapping and registration of customary land titles was a two-year project implemented by GIZ through GFA Consulting Group under the Responsible Land Policy Uganda program with the support from the German Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development. Within these two years we had over 3,000 parcels mapped and as of today, we have, we have distributed about 1,900 certificate of customary ownership. And during the phase-out process, we came up with a self-financing model as a sustainability measure. And in this model, the community members contribute resources or money, and this money is used to facilitate the whole process of land registration. The LC3 chairperson Aguingi the sub county says the project has triggered development and scaled down cases of land dispute. Petty pet issues like uh, LC2 handling cases, it has reduced. Our children and even those who will follow us afterward, this land will be kept for a long period of time. Local governments are currently piloting self-financed customary land registration with the guidance from the ministry. Registered land supports the resolution of land grievances and encourages development. Edi Olua, UBC News.